Welcome back, guys, and welcome to a game called Home Safety Hotline. Hearing noises, seeing things, call Home Safety Hotline. Our operators are standing by waiting to give you the answers you need to protect your home from all manner of pests and household hazards. You know, I worked at a call center when I was about 20, 21 years old. And I think till this day, it's possibly the worst job that I've ever had. The most boring, most depressing job that I've ever had. I recall working at this place and vividly remember how badly it was because, for example, we had one lunch break, obviously, 30 minutes. And then we had two other breaks that you could use to go to the bathroom. It might have been three. I don't remember specifically, but it was five minute breaks. You had to log out of your session, go to the bathroom, come back in and log back in. Everything was recorded. It was, it was insane, like scary insane. And I recall during this time, all I had was working and then the gym. This is when I was younger and that's all I literally had in my life. And I would use my lunch break, obviously, to eat my food. And I was trying to eat every three hours during that time. And so I would also use my bathroom breaks and I would take my little containers with food and eat in the bathroom literally like swallow the food i didn't work there for too long i hated it anyways let's do this a big thank you to night signal entertainment the free copy wow this actually feels like it's my computer um okay so i guess we're logged in starting our shift so we've got home safety hotline, mailbox, options, television, commercial, and let's go to the television commercial. What was that last one? Metamorphosis? Monday. Welcome, employee. To begin shift, please clock in below. This is literally how it is. Ugh. Okay, so we've got some uh, no call window, no current callers. We've got the info screen and we've got our entries. So we've got bed bugs, bees, black mold. I'm assuming later on we'll get more entries available to us. Bed bugs. Description. Bed bugs are small insects known for feeding on the blood of humans and other mammals and their tendency to inhabit sleeping areas. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Oh boy. Okay, so that's my supervisor, Carol. Thanks, Carol. Anyway, we've got a couple of entries we got to be familiar with. So, yeah, the bed bugs. Homeowners infested with bed bugs often report itchiness and sometimes a delay. Or a delayed onset of rashes. Uh, obviously, we know what bees are. What does this do? Oh, God. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. All right, specks of dirt. 
Please hold. Put him on hold. That's awesome. <laughs> Get your ass on hold, John. All right, so that's not going to be bees. Keyword here we're looking for is going to be infestation, obviously, but specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Okay. So black mold could be a possible candidate. Black mold is a common household fungus known to grow in moist, warm locations. Doesn't that's the kitchen. I mean, could be warm, but it appears frequently as small black spots. Homeowners with black mold infestation frequently report a musty smell. He hasn't reported any smell. So, um, carpenter ants, small insects known for nesting inside of wood. Homeowners infested with these pests sometimes report a faint rustling sound coming from the walls as the ants build their nest. Not that cockroach is it's disgusting. Small insects known to be common household pets, uh, not pets, pests. Homeowners with cockroach infestation commonly report seeing droppings that appear similar to coffee grounds. It's got to be that. Oh, my God. All right, hopefully that's the one. It's got to be that coffee grounds. That, that was the key word for me. So, oh, hold on. Damn, these calls are coming in quick. Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like... E e e e you know? It, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. Please hold. All right, Grace, give me a sec here. Let me find out your problem and we'll be right with you, okay? So you've got some sort of screeching noise in your attic at nighttime and it's not really allowing you to sleep very well. So it's not going to be the gopher. No, that's outdoors. House flies. inside homes and frequently surround those with no death is impending definitely not that not a house spider for sure nest near or inside homes known for building sticky thread like webs to trap flies mice okay this might be a possibility here Mice are small worthless rodents commonly found in the household homeowners with a mice infestation commonly report gnaw marks Small round droppings and sounds of squeaking. Raccoons are small nocturnal mammals. Nocturnal, okay, possibly. With gray and brown fur known for their tendencies to rummage through garbage cans or nest in attics. Clattering sounds at night. No, so it cannot be raccoons because... Let me go down. I'm thinking... Not mites or term, not termites or, tr or ticks. No, it's got to be mice. I'm going to go for mice. Yeah, let's go for mice. It's got to be the mice. This is really cool, man. I am never thought I'd say this, but I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Pointing and clicking and hanging out with you guys. This is quite enjoyable. Hopefully, we're doing a phenomenal job so far. Don't want to get fired. It's only the first day. Hank here. Last week, I called your guys about some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. All right, so this guy's got brown piles that look like crap, and it's in his yard. Please so, hold. Put you on hold real quick, Hank. No. Okay, mole. Might be a mole. Moles are small, dark brown furry mammals with pointed pink muzzles that are known for living in deep burrows. Bur burrows. Their burrows uh, tend to look like volcano-shaped mounds, and they are known to eat insects. Capable of biting humans down. That's kind of scary. <laughs> That's kind of scary. There was another one here. 
small brown furry mammals with enlarged front teeth that are known for living in burrows. They can become a pest to homeowners when they choose to burrow on their property, commonly damaging gardens. Capable as well of biting humans and spreading deadly diseases such as rabies. So caution around them. Yeah, but you get rabies, you're almost like fucked. I don't know if we've, I mean, it's not really telling me if we're getting it right or wrong. So I, I, I don't know if some of these are even correct. I, I don't know. Another call incoming. Uh, Twig Sigmund here. Just calling to inform you that uh, your refrigerator has been running wild over here for the past 45 to 90 minutes. So running wild. Better head on over and catch it, big fella. Wait, why is why am I getting a call about myself? That's kind of weird. Okay, this is when the weird shit starts happening. I mean, obviously, not everything's gonna be perfect. It is a horror game after all. Hello. Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow, and it's getting real crazy <laughs> out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. The stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? So termites can be it because termites is for inside. How about ticks? Hmm. Very small arachnid known uh, to feed on human or animal blood and most commonly found in tall grass. They latch onto their host, often unseen. So the host will often report symptoms of illness, such as fever, headaches, and chills. They're incredibly dangerous to humans, thanks to their ability to directly spread various diseases to their host, such as Lyme disease, and their potential to provoke other more dangerous household pests. Although you can remove ticks, once they have invaded your home with common pesticides, it is too late to prevent any diseases they have transmitted. Instead, prevent ticks from entering your household in the first place by treating the surrounding area with pesticides and keeping a tidy weed-free lawn. I mean, this is the only thing that talks about... I don't know. I mean, it's literally the only thing that kind of makes sense, but it's so vague. I don't know. I'm going to go for ticks. It's, I, I'm, I'm still not sure about that because he was at 75%. Okay. Um, your shift has ended. Which one did I get wrong? Okay. Whatever. Sure. Maybe I got one wrong indeed. Huh. Well, not a bad not a bad start, okay? Fine. We didn't get 100%, but I can definitely live with that. We've got some mail. Your supervisor's name is Carol. Okay, she already called. As a reminder, responders with a 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive daily employee coupons, work hard, and reward. Okay. Attention call team. Due to an error with our... Arch archival network some of you may notice video files from our video archives appearing on your desktops please disregard these they will be cleared up in due time this is mike uh you don't know me but uh, you used to have i used to have your job you are in danger quit today before it's too late you don't know enough it's not too late to quit freely trust me what the fuck? Okay, this is getting kind of weird. Um, let me just... Get back to work. Okay. Interesting. Tuesday. I like the little click. Alright, we're clocking in. Here we go. Tuesday. Carol again, your supervisor. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. 
Please be aware that this information is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Thank you. All right, permissions have been updated. New entries are now available. So we've got bat, bed teeth, carbon monoxide, cellar growths, uh, common hob, desks hob, false beats, fracture hob, frozen pipes. Whoa. Okay, this is interesting. It's Hank. Hank here. <laughs> That's strike two with you people. First you tell me there's nothing. Then you send me the wrong information. I did what your info package said to do, and now there's even more critters in my yard. They're all staring at me now. They want me to... They want me to climb inside the tunnel. I... I must go inside. I must pay for my sins. What? So that's the one we got incorrect. It was between gophers, I think, and moles. We chose it would have it would have been moles then. Okay. That one was a little tricky, in my opinion. Anyways, we've got a new caller. Here we go. Mike. Uh, sorry, I'm uh, uh calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Okay, so pollen, allergies, something wrong with my ventilation. Please hold Invisible, odorless poison gas that is produced whenever a fossil fuel is burned. Okay. Cellular growths. Uh, no. Common hob. Yo, what is this? False beats. A stair slug. Uh, large dog sized slugs that are commonly known to occupy stairwells and basements commonly report a smiley residue on steps or other household inclines. Um, okay, so he's got allergies. What about bats? Bats are general term are a general term for a variety of species of nocturnal flying mammals. Bats can be identified by their usually large ears, wings, and dark fur, but most commonly find their way inside the home during their hibernation period before winter. Homeowners with a bat infestation will commonly report sounds of scratching or flapping at night. Okay. Uh Bed teeth. Okay, that's kind of weird. Black mold can be removed with regular cleaning supplies and maintenance and can be prevented with good ventilation and high pressure and high moisture areas of the home. For more serious black mold infestations, it is advised to utilize HSH fungal cleanup service. It's the only thing that kind of makes sense to me. Going for black mold. Just based off of that reaction on breathing problems and stuff like that so I think that should be all right black mode which is pretty disgusting if you look at it you know if there's such a thing as house thieves that clean like maybe to disguise the robbery at night I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room but when I go look at it I find the place spotless but haven't yet found anything missing I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? 
common hob it's probably one of these things a hob most common species of hob found in the household they are human they're small humanoid creatures with gray burlap like skin and small vertical tufts of hair they have no false face they are known for their tendency to consume dust dirt and commonly uh common sticky substances found on the floors and dishes cleaning them in the process they generally only come out at night hobs are not dangerous to humans on their own if provoked however they are capable of mischievous acts <laughs> sort of harry potter shit is this so that's the common hob then we've got a desk hob known to inhibit or excuse me inhabit desks vanities and other similar structures regularly like to titty their homes uh tidy their homes and will frequently sort and order materials in the desk to their liking they are physically similar to other hobs but are generally much smaller and have raspy loose hair they do not bear a false face Oh, they're capable of metamorphosis. Oh, wow. So it's got to be a hob. Fracture hob. We're, we're now learning about the fracture hobs. It's a subspecies of hobs that are known to cause cracks and fractures in the walls of the homes they inha inhabit. They are physically similar to other hobs in stature and size, with the exception of generally longer, wilder airlocks. Hmm. They also bear a false face. Okay, let's go to common hob here. What is the solution? I didn't even look at the solution. Shit. Let me see. So hobs cannot be com compelled to leave on their own homes or on their own once they've nested in a home. Instead, one should take measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis by leaving out a bowl of cream or milk at night. What happens when they when they go through metamorphosis, though? Yo, Buzz Goober here. I've been having a heck of a time over here. I got these snappers itching and whooping and crying all over the place. Just all over the place, I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining, and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? I've called about 5,500 times and y'all haven't done a thing about it. What the fuck? Buzz a goober. I feel like that's one of those random calls, which we've already had one before on Monday. I don't know if they're going to get more intense as the days go by. Anyways, we've got another caller here. One sec. Michelle. I, I don't know what's going on inside my house. I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help me, please. What? Can I sleep at night? Some crawling in the walls and found teeth please marks. Hold it. Not bad. Uh, no, those are bed teeth. No, but it's on the walls, so it cannot be the bat, right? No, it's not the. Hmm. This is probably a pest, not one of the hobs, because unless there's like a wall hob or something. What about mice? Okay, small round droppings and sounds of squeaking. Report gnaw marks. Okay. See? Found teeth marks on my bed post. That's disgusting. I think I'm going for mice. Mice. Okay, here we go. Yeah, hey, I'm calling about a noise. 
noise I've been hearing in my house lately. Sounds like scratching or something. It's real quiet. So definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've sent out all kinds of traps, but uh, I thought one worked for a while, but then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. Hmm. Noises hearing in my house lately scratching. It's real quiet. Definitely some kind of pest in the walls. Please hold. So we're looking for a pest again. In the walls. I don't think the bat's going to be in the walls. Hmm. Bats are more dangerous. No. Bats most commonly find their way inside a home during their hibernation period. Bed bugs. No. Bees. He says here. Scratching. Noises I've been hearing in my house lately sounds like scratching or something. It's real quiet, but there's definitely some kind of pest in my walls. Hmm. What about not cockroaches? Carpenter ants are small insects known for nesting inside of wood. Homeowners infested with these pests sometimes report a faint rustling sound coming from their walls as the ants build their nest. I remember reading that. So this guy's reporting real quiet, but there's definitely some kind of pest in my walls. In the walls, just like this guy's describing. So let's go for carpenter ants. Good job. Okay. Do you guys handle security? I need home security installed. Someone's breaking into my house and going through all my stuff at night. I know it's Bob from accounting. He's always been envious of me. I know what you're doing, Bob. Going through my papers, taunting me with your organization skills. I need your best home security equipment. Pronto! I, I already know. I already know it's a hob. For sure. Please hold when it when it's got to do with that sort of situation it's going to be a hob now this guy's talking about work and papers we've got the common hob we've got the desk hob it's that one for sure vanities are similar structures they regularly like to tidy their homes and will frequently sort and order materials in the desk to their liking perfect i'm not even I, for sure for sure for sure where's this crap <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's his co-worker. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay. Oh, shift has ended. You have reached uh, the end of... Oh, we got 100% accuracy. Flawless. Let's go. That's a way to make up for Monday. I think Monday we only got one wrong, to be honest. But... Oh, we've got a video. Wow, 84,000. That's crazy. issued a missing person alert for the following counties. Bush, Maple County, Parkway County, Barry County. This is a missing person's alert. Authorities are currently looking for missing child, Robbie Parker, male, brown hair, approximately four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown 
shorts and white tennis shoes. Suspect is described to be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on their person. Last seen at approximately 10.25 a.m. Please report any unusual activity to your local authorities. Mailbox. What is this? They gave you a. They gave you access to more info, didn't they? I want you. If you, I warned you. If you end up like me, join me in this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's a safe. It's safe here. Am I speaking to a hob here or what? It's too late for you now. That's the subject of the email. Network errors. Attention call team. Our network team is migrating our backend services over to a new hosting provider this week. So you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Please be sure you are studying your information entries carefully while you still have access in case the network goes down while you are on the phone with a client. You will be expected to provide accurate answers to our callers. Regardless of the network status, daily coupon used, horseshoe. Fuck is this? Congratulations, employee. Your high accuracy rate has been... Actually, last time we got 70%, was it? I don't remember. I said 90, but I don't think it was 90. Uh, the daily's coupon used uh, horseshoe. Our stock of used horseshoes are as reliable as they are rusty. 90% of our supply are verifiable forged from real iron. Supplies are run out quickly, so stock up while you can. To receive your discount, simply type the following code during your online checkout. A great deal for sure. <laughs> Keep up the great work. Wednesday. Hello, Supervisor Carol here again. We've updated your permissions. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your future calls. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. Please remember that this information is strictly confidential and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. Permissions have been added. Okay. So, we've got... Uh the Bogart? What the fuck is that, bro? There's something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gone close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to yeah. come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. <laughs> I know what I've it is. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. Oh. I know what it is. It's the stupid. Please hold. It's the. Yo, that's creepy. So they're Oh my god, that is creepy as shit. So they're basically metamorph metamorphosed metamorphosed whatever. Hairy humanoids between six to seven feet tall and bear fairly convincing false faces. They are known for causing household accidents such as flooding, fires, or electric Man, so this is kind of like, wow. It's kind of like when these things happen in real life to us, these are the reasons. Although we don't see them, these are the reasons, right? It's kind of scary to think of, think of it that way. They frequently also observe their targets while they sleep. Bogarts are extremely dangerous to humans and pets due to their malicious nightly household activities, which can often cause injury or death.
Where is it? Damn it. Here we go. All right. Thanks, David. All right. Let's let's study some of these entries here. False artifacts. Hello. Can I please? Hey, uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it, along with this, uh, nasty smell. Nasty smell. Please hold. Okay, um... False rose bush. And she's got fucking feet. Plant like creatures that most commonly take on the appearance of a red rose bush. In place of roots, these creatures have two small humanoid feet. Common household hazards during cold seasons characterized by water inside pipes freezing and expanding, causing stoppages, cracks, and leaks. Homeowners with frozen pipes report strange faucet smells, banging and whistling sounds coming from pipes or leakage. Commonly sus subspecies of Sprite that make their homes inside lamps fixtures. They are known for causing the lamps they inhabit to flicker or burn hotter. Memory wisp. Due to the clerical error, the audio sample provided above is incorrect. This issue will be corrected by the end of the month. Oh, thanks. It's not that. Mirror nymph. Subspecies of nymphs that are known for stealing the likeliness of homeowners and passerby. Passersby. They are generally small, faceless, and voiceless humanoid carrying a large mirror, and they beckon others to look into it. No. Unicorn fungi are a rare horn shape that's got nothing to do with this guy's case. Whistling fungi. Wine sprite. Wooden secretions. No, I think honestly. Where is it? No shit. Hold on. I know what it is. Frozen pipe. I hope. My wife. I can't. Her face. It's gone. It's gone. My wife. I can't see her face. I can't see her face! She's dead and I can't see her face! They're all gone! It's all gone! What the hell? Please hold. Wait, is this the same as the other one? My wife, I cannot, I can't, her face, it's gone, it's gone. My wife, I can't see her face. I can't see her face. She's dead and I can't see her face. Homeowners infested with memory wisps will often report missing pictures, photo albums, and the inability to remember the face of the, well, that actually just, okay. <laughs> that last sentence there just really helped me out. Thanks. <laughs> Okay. This is such a weird game. Like, I forgot the name of the game we played, but it was a point and click as well where you, you know, you're like investigating, you go inside the lady's apartment. We played it a couple of weeks ago and I'm like, bro, nobody's going to watch this crap. And it actually did pretty good and I enjoyed it. So I've never really tapped into these types of games and um, I don't know, very, very different, but kind of cool. Yeah, name's Fred Pinball. I'm calling to lodge a complaint against your place of business. 
I have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, sticks, and pebbles. So I ain't putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. And I grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. Now, <laughs> what's it gonna do? What's it gonna do to make this right? <laughs> Isn't that Fred that called? Is this the same Fred? I was told to call this number to ask about my problem. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks, or maybe it's peeling? I'm not sure. I have a cat named Whiskers, and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch, but he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. Cracks and fractures in the walls and the homes they inhabit. They are physically similar to Hobbs in stature and size. The exception to... Okay. No to how... I don't know, but she's saying now the wall in my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks, or maybe it's peeling. I'm a little bit indecisive. Where is that crap? Submit so answer. Um, I don't know. <sighs> Sorry, Wanda. I'm trying. I'm not too sure. Fracture. Let's go to fracture. Where is this crap? Fracture hob. It's, I mean, it's got to be that. I don't know. I really don't know. Do you think this is some kind of joke? Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room. And the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? What kind of joke is that? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house, and you figure it out now! Shit, Gary, calm the fuck Please down. Hold. All right, so I remember reading one of the hobs sent about a bowl of cream or some shit like that. So I think it was the common hob. Um, can I be compelled to leave on their own? Once, okay, measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis by leaving out a bowl of cream. So he didn't do it. Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming in. Okay, coming in from my living room and the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream. What kind of joke is that? It's been a week now. So we recall this dude evolving basically from a hob. Huh. It says they are known for causing household accidents such as flooding, fires, and electric outages. Yep, there it is. Power outages. It's this one. 100%. Oh my god, he's got one of those? Fuck that. <laughs> Do not under any circumstance refer to any active Bogart by any accuracy. 6666. The fuck? I don't know if I really got that many wrong or if this is like the game tripping out right now. We're excited to into uh, okay, hold hold on. Hello, Home Safety Hotline family. We're excited to introduce you all to our brand new office pet Whiskers. Didn't the lady said she had a pet named Whiskers? Is loyal, friendly, and is as serious about pest controls as we are. Please give Whiskers a warm welcome if you see him wander by your desk. No, please refrain from picking up or feeding Whiskers as he is still getting to know everyone in the office and has scheduled feeding times. Oh, boy. <laughs> Fuck. 
science mysteries. What do we got here? Mystery of Mice. Mice. One of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. From the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores, mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. This is a mus musculus, otherwise known as the common house mouse. And this is Mus Musculus Loquentis, otherwise known as the Smart Mouse, a newly discovered species known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly, its increased intelligence. What? Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet, modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. And in the case of the Smart Mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. a wonder of evolution, or are we just hearing things that aren't there? Do mice and men have more in common than previously thought? Well, I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. Oh, this is getting crazy. Very interesting. What is the credits? Thursday. Let's get to work. Supervisor Carol here again. I've been watching the closely employee. I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon me. I think the map is something wrong with her faucet. Recently I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pangs constantly. But after a month, it still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's gotta be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't never had any problems up till now. I keep hearing things about rusted pipes and water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things that can happen to the water, so can you just send someone out to get this fixed for us? Something wrong with the faucet recently. Something wrong with the water because we only eat fresh homegrown fruits and vegetables. Please hold. So they only eat. Only fresh fruits and vegetables. So it's got to be a sort of food that they're consuming. What's a cellar grotto? Large cave-like networks. Okay, that definitely not that. Fay feast. Fay uh, feasts are mid to large sized piles of various edible food substances, frequently including flour, cornmeal, and various special uh, species of fungi that are known to appear near eating areas of the home. The Fae flu. What the fuck? Rare dangerous disease commonly spread by household Fae. Symptoms of Fae flu include headaches, fever, eye discoloration, seeds taking root in skin pores. That is disgusting. 
Oh, false beat. Maybe because he says fresh fruits, right? False beats are creatures with a beat like appearance that are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by disguising themselves among their vegetables. <laughs> it's got to be that. Not rose, because that's. No, he's not going to be eating roses. Floor roots. Floor roots are tree like brown roots that are known to grow upwards from the floor, wrap themselves around various objects or humans in their vicinity. Okay, let's go for it's literally the only answer in this place. That's, I mean, it's literally the false beats. Okay. Let's see what other entries we've got here. The travel gnome. <laughs> travel gnomes are highly invasive subspecies of gnomes that are known to stow away inside the luggage of unsuspecting travelers to introduce themselves to the new household. <gasps> Whew, that's a mouthful. Hello? I followed every instruction your people sent me, but I'm still getting cracks on my wall. Uh, my daughter is called pest control. And she told me not to call you anymore for help. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Oh, fuck. So we got that one wrong. Small hairy creatures with a pointed head. They're known for their tendency to enter the sleeping quarters of humans to watch them while, while they sleep. The police told me to call this number. So I uh, hope I got the right number here. Anyway, uh, I think, I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. Wait. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so <laughs> please, oh send somebody or do something about this. That is literally the night. I can hardly sleep anymore. That is the night gnome. Bro, like, Please look at this. What in the world? Look at this. Homeowners are affected by night gnomes are frequently reporting sighting them in the middle of the night or report heavy breathing. Look, sleeping on the couch every night the past week. Breathing. It's, it's got to be the night gnome. I mean, what are the fucking odds that I'm, like, looking at these new entries and this lady calls about... Or it could be a night wisp. No, it's not. It's not that. Not a portal either. What is a seating? Seedling. I'm sorry. No, not that. Portal. Okay, definitely not a portal. Bro, that's the gnome. What in the world? <laughs> that is so crazy. The attic gnome. Maybe. Hold on. Attic gnomes are a subspecies of gnomes known to nest in attics and ceilings. Homeowners are infested with attic gnomes will often report a knocking or rapping sound coming from their ceilings or surplus of dust coming from the ventilation system. Damn, so now we're dealing with gnomes. Hobbs, gnomes, the horde. Where is it? Oh, we gotta go to N. All right, Felicia. in the freaking world that's nuts anything else here that's new hello yes i believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation <laughs> lately we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced my daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing Banging noises coming from the ceiling and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. Home ventilation problem. How about attic gnome? It says also, lately we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling and the air quality. Ventilation system. Attic gnome.
So their feeding habits can often be uh, a boon to homeowners as they consume dust, cobwebs, and household pests such as spiders in large quantities. However, when frightened, they will violently expel their meals, which can send large quantities of dust particles into the air, causing air quality issues. It's that, bro. I'm, I'm gonna go for the attic gnome. 100%. It seems like every day, whenever you get new entries, it's, it's good to look at the new entries, because obviously you're not going to use every single entry, but if they give you new entries, most likely the callers are going to be regarding those entries for the most part. Not all the time, but... Please help me. The police refused to do anything. They told me to call you. Please say you can help. My, my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. He's eight years old and such a sweetheart. The last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night and checking his messy closet for bees to calm him down. Oh, it's silly, I know, but my poor Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and, and wasps and stuff. <laughs> I miss him. <laughs> I miss him so much. Oh, please, please, please say you can help me find him. He's all that I have. <laughs> Faith flew. False artifacts, similar human design objects that can. What does it? They're known for making gentle buzzing sounds that can usually be heard. Very young human children or small animals. Homeowners with false artifacts often report out of place objects or missing children or pets. False artifacts, while not a direct threat to adult humans, can pose significant risks to small human children and animals. Should a child or pet be left alone with a false artifact, they are at risk of being en encased within. She left them after saying goodnight. No noise made by the prey can be heard, while dis digestion can take upward of several years to complete. What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> What the fuck? Wait, where is it? False. Hello. There we go. It's crazy because the more you do these, like you start remembering what they all do. Obviously, that's a new one, but they're not very hard to remember and they're very distinct because you got and you got like categories you know you got the artifacts the gnomes the the hobs or whatever the hell they're called and then the pests i thought it was only about pests but it's not hi i'm concerned somewhat about the stability of my new home i recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously disclosed as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor? I haven't been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this, and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. Well, crack, crack hob or whatever, right? Fracture hob. Let's go there and see what it says. In the walls, fractures in the walls. The homes they inhabit. They're physically similar to Hobbs. Okay. Okay. Uh, fracture Hobbs are now dangerous on their own, but okay. Cannot be removed once they nest to prevent further danger. There it is. Slice of cheese. Exactly what he said. I'm, I'm going to go with that. Let's read it just to make sure. Hold on. This glows as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese. I mean, bro, it's pretty, pretty obvious. The proof is in the pudding. I think I, I chose Fracture Hob for another one as well, so that, might have, that probably was wrong. That probably was wrong. But it's okay. Fuck it. Anything else? Any other ones that we haven't seen? I feel like, man, there's... It's almost crazy how... 
how many entries you get and you start really like understanding them. Oh god. Got rumor here. I need to place an order of sixty gallons of orange drink here. I got a big old party I'm setting up here at the studio and we're gonna need that orange drink to uh, too many mouths to feed, you know what I mean? Gonna need that orange drink to feed my brew. I thought you all still got that cheesy greaser. It's so fucking weird. We don't have that many left here. I mean, we've got a couple. Yo, what the fuck is that? Phil. Hey, so my doctor told me I should call this number. I have no idea why. He won't tell me anything. He said you could help, so here goes nothing, I guess. Um, so I've recently been having just the worst headaches, and just barely I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look kind of pink. I'm really freaked out right now, and I'm not sure what I have. I can't find anything online. Can you help me? So he's obviously congested, as you can kind of... You can hear that. Worst headaches and barely. I woke up and found my eyes were pink. Hold. Okay, so let's start with the top here. We're going to start off with um, carbon monoxide. Oh, my God. I don't remember. I'm, I'm going to get this wrong. Fucking hell. Whistling fungi. I don't fuck know. There's no whistling involved. I'm gonna go with carbon monoxide. I'm so I really don't. The fave flu. It could be the fave flu. Wait, 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 wait. Which is the one that talked about the discoloration of the eye? Bro, it could be fave flu. Or was it feast? Oh, God. Mm. I'm going to get this one wrong. I'm just going to go with Faith Flu. <laughs> Fuck it. Damn. Screw it. I'm, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, what a bad one. Ah, oh, yikes. What a bad one. I know we read one earlier that was talking about like lumps in their face. He didn't really have that though, so that yeah, that was probably incorrect. You gotta tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking out over here. There's holes all over my freaking house, man. Freaking holes! I'm stepping around big wooden splinters. There's no telling how much damage there is. I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes. To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found. She probably took off after seeing this mess. I need help. Bad. Massive holes in his house. Okay. Please hold. Please hold, Kyle. Um, this has got to be... I don't know. Cellar Grotto. No. Hmm. Cellar growths. Uh, large species of fungi are known to grow in the dark, damp environments such as cellars, homeowners. No. It cannot be termites, because although termites would cause holes, this guy's talking about a massive hole. Deep, deep hole. And to top it all off, his dog is nowhere to be found. Probably took off. I don't... Okay, hold on. 
Unicorn fungi are rare horn-shaped fungus that are known to grow on the heads of furry mammals. They affect animals in this position, causing them to be drawn to the soil. Homeowners often report their pets furiously digging around or inside their home. Not directly harmful to humans, but they can often lead to other household problems such as broken floorboards, unrooted plants, or waking up other or waking up other things beneath the soil. The only thing that I can think of is termites or maybe the rooted floor, but fuck it. Unicorn doesn't even make sense, but considering that the keyword he has a dog, even in his picture, and it affects mammals I don't know See, there's still a couple that I cannot recall the info to forbidden action insufficient privileges all right I'm gonna need someone to explain what in the name of Christmas is happening to my living room I'm back from vacation and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later and my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants looks like a gosh darn nursery in there what is happening is is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something okay so definitely this is happening after she arrived so that correlates Travel homes can affect the household in various ways. They'll often create expansive gardens inside their new homes. Look at this. Soil and plants look like a gosh darn nursery in there. What's happening? Okay. Leaving soil, plants, and common outdoor pests in their way. These gardens, in addition to introducing a variety of dangerous pests, can also create foundational problems in a home if they can... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Travel, 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 travel. Where is it? Jeez, man, what the hell is this? There we go. What, what honestly, what... What kind of gives it away, it's the traveling. I remember reading the travel gnome. She traveled and got back. And gnomes tend to... F oh, never mind. Larry! There's Larry! There's something in my basement. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer, and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there, too. I don't know what it might be doing down there, but I have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage. Please... Send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. Okay, basement. Basement. I remember reading something about basements. Uh, bees, bat, black, bogart, no, carbon monoxide, no, cellar grotto. Cave like networks, no, to sometimes appear and spontaneously in cellar dense basements. Cellars and basements. Homeowners with cellar grotto often report bad smelling coming from the basement, higher humidity in the home. This is the one. Sounds like there might be a lot of water down there too. I don't know what it might be causing a whole lot of damage, please. Okay, here we go. Uh, close enough. Yep, I remember when I was looking for the answer for one of the last, like, two or three cases ago. No fucking way. We got even the one with the eye that we didn't remember. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, 100 percent That's impressive. Okay. Okay, we've got mail. Do not come to the... What? To the thief hole. What? 
is breached. I'll repeat the hole is breached. It is not safe here. Must find a new spot. It is it knows I'm here. Who is it, man? Employee 36 regarding your schedule this week due to the shortage of available staff. We will need you to come into work this Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for being a team player. I feel like shit's going to hit the fan once we go over the weekend. Congratulations. Um, we've been awarded the uh, daily coupon of tamed a river root plucked and tamed straight from the water within the undersoil this river root is a reliable or is as reliable as they come they uh, their gentle frequency cries and are guaranteed to keep your garden safe from all manner of pests and predator okay okay do we have to use that somewhere i mean fuck friday hello Supervisor Carroll here. Thine accuracy continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. I have updated your permissions once more. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon thee. What the hell does that even mean? Above and below the soil? What the fuck is that? Trash gnome. Okay. New entries. Animation. Animations are... Any miniature humanoid figure, such as dolls, puppets, or marionettes that are capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with animations most commonly report hearing, clattering noises, and, uh, fuck. There were Satan worshippers in my shed. I think it might be my no-good teenager having joined up with one of those dungeon dragon cults they sing these days because he's been days now and the next thing you know i find a dang tree growing in my shed the tree is all covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid classic satanistic ritual crap i assume but tell me what i can do to get these godless teens off my property okay so fake trees the tree is all over in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid classic satanic ritual crap Five foot tall human or creatures with dog like faces. That's not it, but I'll keep that in mind. Pipe growth. Was it pipe growth? Structures, no. Rain, no. Nymph. Rain nymph. Subspecies of nymphs that are most active during rainstorms. Okay. Soap sprite. Soap sprites are a subspecies of sprite that are known for consuming bacteria and harmful microbes. They frequently occupy bathrooms appearing similar to pink bars of soap in order to feed off the hands that use them. Ill. Sprig tree are rapidly growing trees like organisms that take root in a human body. They are known to cause structural damage to a home as they continue to grow, generally reaching their full size as a matter of in a matter of days, they're known to be caused by the touch of sp Spriggan. Spriggan? Incredibly deadly to those infected and will result in death. Once they reach a certain size, anyone near a sprig tree will, while it's growing in an indoor location, also risk of injury and death from structural damage. She did say that they were playing Dungeon Dragons. And so it says like organisms that take root in a human body the only thing that's giving it away really is the covered substance she's talking about the black okay let's try that hopefully it's not vines i don't want to click on them because then i forget which ones are the new ones and a lot of the times when you when you get new entries, most like this one, most likely it's gonna be it's gonna be that. Hey, I called last week about some noises in my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, 
I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? Common species of hob found in households. They are small humanoid creatures with gray burlap like skin. They have no false face, no for tennis consumed dust, dirt, and commonly sticky substances found on floor and dishes, cleaning them in the process. They generally only come at night. That that makes sense, right? Because he says he hears things, but then when he looks, it's clean, it's spotless. Hobbs are not dangerous to humans on their own. If provoked, however, they are capable of let's hear the noises. What noises is he hearing? Clattering noises. All right, common hob. We've got it's not the fracture hob. It's not going to be that. Um, the night gnome. No, no. The thing about the hobs is they're very neat, and that's the thing. Just like the desk one. Or was it the desk gnome? There was a desk hob or was it desk? No, I don't. Yeah, see, desk hob. See, they're ty they, they, they're clean. So I'm going to go for the common hob. Where is it? Yes, common hob. I, th I, I truly think that's the right answer. I truly do. Okay. What else do we have? These calls are coming in quick. Fuck. Yes, hi. I recently purchased from your company one of your home security installation services. And not a week later, I'm still getting break-ins. As I mentioned prior, someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. They could be some insane serial killer, for all we know. All they do is sing at night, but no one in my family feels safe anymore. None of your stupid security alarms even went off. Mm. So during the night, one second, Pamela. Night. Let's see if there's anything night related. Night gnome. Okay, singing, right? They're known for their tendency to enter the sleeping quarters of humans to watch them while they sleep. Homeowners affected by night gnomes frequently report sightings in the middle of the night and report heavy breathing sounds during late hours. Known for deadly, not deadly, not known to be deadly to humans, but those who suffer from these conditions should consider wearing sleeping masks. Someone has been breaking into my greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. No singing there. That's not singing. Huh. What the fuck? Soap Sprite. Could it be a hob? Let me see. Taunting us with their singing. Attic gnome. How about flower? Okay. Singing. Faint singing. There it is. 100%. <laughs> False flower. There it is. 100%. Hold on. Yeah. False flower. See, that's why I was saying, like, it was a new entry, but I didn't want to click it, and I did click it, but it, it wasn't marking new anymore because I already read into it. So sometimes that's why I try not to, but anyway, I'm pretty sure it's that one. Hello? Hey, Flipper! I've got two dumbbells that I bought 
for me to get a good spit shine. Know what I mean? I mean, these bells have got all kinds of grit, grime, grease. Can't even see my face in them when I'm deadlifting. Know what I mean? I mean, I'm looking at these bells right now here. I'm seeing the uh, spit, crud, and juice. And, uh... Hey, who, who are you? How did you get in? Hey, now, now easy there. Get away. Get away. What the fuck is that? Yeah, this game's got some weird shit. Definitely weird. The more, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just outgrowing, like, always having to play games that are, like, stimulating your brain um, as far as action and controlling a character. But I'm, this is the second game I play where we're sitting here on a computer clicking away, and it's enjoyable. I don't know. Maybe it's just, I never tapped into it. I never tried it. So, you know. Oh, shit. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. All right, Carol, that was kind of weird. There's, there's some kind of insect in my house, and I, I think it may have died. Uh, I saw this big, nasty thing fly in through the window and I haven't been able to find it anywhere but I, I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this awful burning scent throughout the house can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house <sighs> flying through the window electrocuted itself smells awful burning scent please hold. insect okay insect Insect. Insect. I'm probably relying on the word insect too much here. Lamp. Uh oh. Oh my god, bro. I'm gonna get this wrong. I don't remember shit. Fuck it. <laughs> it's just way too many to remember like that. Like, I'll have, like, an idea and I have to read on it, but I can't remember shit like that. It's too much. It's like 50 entries here. It, it took my daughter. It took my daughter. She She's gone. It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. I saw it with my own eyes. Please send help. The police won't do anything. Send help. Wrapped its awful tendrils around her. Please hold. So. The only thing that I recall having things like that was the floor roots or floor tree was it oh, okay it's working again tree like brown roots that are known to grow upwards from the floor and, and, and wrap themselves around various objects or humans in their vicinity exactly grow slowly enough as they are severe very little danger to uh to awake and aware of human adults but not kids however if not spotted quickly they are known strangling hazard of human children 100 percent, 100 percent. floor roots i recall that one very very vividly thank you that's that one for sure good job hold on put this down there We're already like almost reaching the three hour mark recording, which is crazy. So this, this game is definitely long. It is also like 15 bucks. So you, you know, expect it to be kind of long. It, 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 it stole me. It stole me. I'm, I'm not me anymore. I'm, it, 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 it took me. It took me. I can't see myself anymore. I'm gone. Help me! Help get me back, please! Okay, I 
don't know what the fuck Please you're talking about. Hold. But it's gotta be one of the new entries. Dreamweaver, no. Memory Wisp. No, we already used that one. How about the mirror? See, homeowners afflicted by mirror nymphs commonly report not being able to recognize their own face. Let me just check Closet Labyrinth. I don't know. It's, I don't think it's this one. Okay, miss, missing clothes and stuff like that. Dream Weaver. I don't want to choose these yet, but. No. I'm, I'm going to go for the mirror. Fuck it. Yep. Or maybe memory. No. Mirror, mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the sexiest of them all? Mirror. I think that's a good choice. I'm, I'm really, I, I'm really confident in that one. I remember reading it. For sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, hello. Hello. Thank you for calling HSH. Ramona. I think some homeless or druggies might be in my house because I keep finding used needles, cans, metal scrap, and other such nasty things on my living room carpet. I have children in this house, and this is a very serious hazard to their health. And before you say anything, yes, I already called the police, and they told me to call this number instead. So I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter promptly. So this is either a gnome or a hob. Please the hold. hob are the cleaner of the two, so it's got to be a gnome. So she says, finding needles, cans, and metal scraps. Attic gnome. Let me see the animation. Hold on. Use needles, cans, metal scraps, and nasty things. I think carpet. Seek. Okay. Homeowners. Rotten eggs. Finding large clumps of fur. I don't. I don't know. She says. I keep finding used needles. Man, I don't know. No. It's got to be the trash gnome, bro. I don't... I'm, I'm going to go for trash gnome. Fuck it. I, I could be wrong. I'm Now I'm not that confident, to be honest. Let me see. Hopefully we don't get fired here. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, is there some kind of home security camera I can purchase from you guys? For the last few nights, we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. I know what it Someone is. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night, but I haven't been able to see who's doing it. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. Okay, no, no lights here. Heavy breathing. There's another one. Where is it? Night wisp. Could it be the night wisp? Yes. Form of bright floating lights. They're known to hover outside windows. There it is. The night wisp. It's that one for sure. Perfecto. Getting sleepy here. Yikes. Been at this for too long. Hey, uh, so... I think I found some kind of door. I feel like maybe I should step through it. I know what it is. Yeah, I think... I portal. think I need to go inside. It's a portal. The wind feels so nice. Yeah, it's a portal. Because I remember reading the portal. It, 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 makes, it makes you want to go through it. So we'll go to portal and it'll say just that. I remember that very, very specifically the portal 
and we read it here see opens the door and out to the outdoor location homeowners discovered most commonly in basements or underground cellars homeowners with portals frequently report cold drafts strange dreams and strong desire to enter i think i need to go inside the wind feels so nice portal portal for sure Don't worry, Patty. We got it. Just shut it down with wood planks, bricks, or whatever you got. Any sort of common building material. It has to be airtight, though. And do not let it allow anything to come inside your home. It is advised to utilize HSH's home security service to ensure portals are sealed safely. Incoming caller. This might, like sound strange but i think there's some kind of like squid or something in my bathroom like i went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night you know and i could see something slithering under near the sink with its like uh, little tentacles or like tendrils or you know whatever but when i turned on the lights nothing was there <laughs> i checked under the towel like under you know like that little soap thing and everything but I know it's somewhere. Like, it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain. Still gotta be hiding in here. So that's Please either hold. the soap thing or something. Hold on. Toilet hob? They don't have tendrils, though. No, it's not that. Um... Hold on. Soap Sprite. If this has tentacles, then that's what it is. Consuming bacteria, harmful microbes. This, uh, they secrete suds like substance. Okay, no. Bacterial eating livestock frequently known to spread deadly diseases such as the feed flu to humans. Went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under near the sink with its like uh, like tentacles or tendrils, whatever. Turned the lights on, nothing was there. Huh. Yeah. It's got to be the pipe or the pipe growth or the pipe hob. Making homes inside the tube-like structures such as pipes. They bear no face. Much smaller. Okay, so pipe growth. It's too big. She said it's too big. So it's got to be pipe growth. Damn, I wish I could type it. <laughs> pipe growth. I'm thinking it's this one. And I'm only going based off of it's too big because that one and the pipe hob are very similar but this one's just much larger as you can see here in the picture it's too damn big just like she said 80 percent. okay probably got like two wrong three wrong maybe maybe four <sighs> i think we're still doing pretty decent uh was that there before that thing thunder peak It's Saturday, so I expect this day to be crazy. One of America's most dangerous yet rewarding hiking locations. This guide will show you how you can be best prepared for one of nature's most beautiful trails. Supplies. Why 
would I want a sword? Climbing gloves. We don't have access, access to all of these materials. Be sure to consult one of the Thunder Peak Park guides before embarking. The trail. Quiet zone, remain completely silent. Huh? Quiet zone. Is that real? Like, have you guys ever been there? I've never been there. Cave entrance. As you approach the cave entrance, remove your hiking boots. Enter the cave. When inside the cave, move carefully and quietly. Do not stop. Follow the lights to not stray. If your heart... If you hear this sound, stay still and un unseat your sword. What is this, bro? Once you exit, put your boots on and gloves for the final climb of the peak. To the peak. Just not gonna talk about that thing, okay? You made it now, enjoy the view. But that's the type of game we're, play we're playing. All right, we've got an email. This is probably going to be important. This is from Mike. This address is no longer active. Hello, if you're receiving this email, it's because you have been emailed by this address before. The employee is uh, the employee. This address is registered is no longer employed here at the Home Safety Hotline as of 4-30-1990. But it's 4-29. This address will be shut down and no longer able to send or receive email messages. If you still need support from HSH, please email us at. Okay, fourth. Oh, okay, so for tomorrow they're going to shut down the email. There's nothing else, right? I mean, he just. Okay. Saturday. Park employee, lend thine ear once more. Supervisor Carol here again. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. What the fuck are you talking about? Prepare thy body. Huh? The trash. So much trash. It has consumed us. I lift the trash 
I breathe the trash. It will bury us. Some kind of animal has gotten into my cellar. I know it's down there, because I can hear it flapping around sometimes when the house is quiet. Tell me, what to do to get rid of this thing? Because I think it's getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. I found a whole bunch of broken bottles on the floor. Stupid thing is probably getting loaded. Okay, so it's drinking... That's actually one. Please hold. Okay. Yes. I know that one. For sure. Where is it? Clearly. Wine Sprite. Subspecies of Sprite that are known for consuming wine. They're small, large eyed winged creatures. Okay, and trans, uh, with translucent skin that often appears red while they are feeding. They have a long uh, proboscis. Probos I don't know, that they used to drink. Homeowners infested with wine sprites commonly report broken glasses. There it is. Yeah, that one was pretty easy. Okay. She kind of gave it away at the end there. So, uh, I, I think something may have died inside my desk. It stinks to high heavens and something is leaking out of it. I have to lock the door to my office since my kids are overly curious about the smell, so I need to know what to do about this as soon as possible. Died inside her desk it stinks and it's leaking. Stinks and it's leaking. Autumn vines? What is this? Orange and red leaves known as slowly grow over house. Frequently fall. Homeowners about uh, dizzy, lightheaded, phenomenal. Okay. Pheromones of autumn vines release the hair. Wood secretions are a pink, vicious liquid substance that can sometimes come from wood that has been mistreated i remember reading this one sticky pooling buildup something is leaking out of it wood secretions can be deadly to humans causing a rapid translation of flesh keep animals and humans away secretions candy like smell to them making them particularly susceptible to accidental ingestion no so this smells good Since my kids are overly curious about the smell. Yep. Okay, never mind. It is that one. Ooh, wood secretions. Okay. I don't know. I mean, again, I'm, 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 I could fucking be wrong. Who knows? Because right here, see, making them sus particularly susceptible to accidental ingestion. It's like you got to look for like these little key words. Because a lot of them are similar. I think there's someone watching me. Outside, something is moving around in the trees, and I can never get a good look at them, but mm -hmm. I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently or if I ate fruit in public or something and told me to call you hoping you'll be more helpful okay so outside watching outside something has moved around the trees please okay. hold i wish you would have described their eyes what about a troll hmm not a troll Okay, how about animation? No. It says moving outside. Something is moving around the trees. How about autumn vines? No. Um, the bed hag. No. It's out. Let me just click on it. No. Oh my god, that's creepy. Uh. I'm thinking about, but it doesn't say night. He doesn't mention night specifically. 
watching me outside. I don't know, bro. Uh, I'm gonna go with reanimation. I don't, I don't really trust that answer, but fuck it. I really don't. I can't. I don't know. <sighs> Let's see. There is a lot, bro. Like, there's a lot. Capable of spreading a widely variety of dangerous diseases. Mm. And now I've already tagged all the ones that said new, so I don't even remember what the new ones are. My brother told me to call this number, but I don't know why. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move. The way they grow around the house like a warm oh. embrace. Things are good here, brother. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? Okay, I remember reading this one. About growing around the house. There it is. Autumn vines are vanished are vines and uh with orange and red leaves that are unknown or that are known, Jesus, to slowly grow over a house frequently occurring during the fall. Homeowners with autumn vines feeling dizzy, lightheaded, and bliss. Okay. It could be that one. I could be completely fucking wrong here. I mean cellar growth, no closet, no. Like a warm embrace. Okay, hold on. During the fall, I don't know. Uh, trash, termite, tea sprite. What about the sprig tree? No, the spriggan. No. I thought it was going to be autumn vines, but I think Spriggan sounds more like it. Let's see. Hopefully that helps you out, Jay. Or I should say, hopefully that helps out your brother. Man, I really hope I got that one right, because I think the last one I completely fucked it up, or the one before that one. I don't know. Hmm. I hope you guys I hope you guys don't find this boring. I know we're like just sitting here clicking on shit, but it's interesting to me. But hopefully you guys feel the same way. I mean I don't know. I guess I'll know if this video tanks. Got in and it touched me. It touched me and now my head feels like it's gonna explode. I can feel something moving inside my head. It's growing. Get it out! Get it out! Oh, he's fucked. Oh. Hello. Things are still good here. My brother has been taken care of. And you no longer need to concern yourself with our household. Good day. Okay. So, br rotten eggs coming from dining room. What is Dort? No. Fate flu? No. Fate feast? Okay, mid to large size piles of various edible food substances, and frequently including flour, cornmeal, and various. Okay. It's gotta be that, the only it's dining room. Okay, we're gonna go for Fae Feast. Is it here? Yes. Mm. 
Good, good, good. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's that one. Frequently including flower. Okay, never mind. Hey, yeah, Paul here. I'm, I'm not sure what to do anymore. Uh, my kids can't sleep at night. I've been spraying about 50 different kinds of pesticides all over the place, washed and scrubbed all the bed sheets as much as frickin' possible. And every mm. night it's the same story. Bunch of edgy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. I'm fresh out of ideas. Please well, that's pretty simple. That's bed bugs. Right there. Can't sleep at night. Spraying 50 kinds of pesticides all over the place. Wash and scrub all of the bed sheets as much as it's either bed teeth, which is not. Discomfort when sleeping, such as tickling or itching. Bunch of itchy kids with nightmares. Okay. Hold on. Might be actually bed hags. No, what, what is that? No. No. B bed bugs. Itchiness and sometimes delayed onset of rashes. Yeah, it's gotta. Yep, it's gotta be bad bugs. Although, Betsy does also have itching. Hmm, man, that's disgusting. Oh, that's nasty. Ugh, take that shit off. All right, what else do we have here? Another caller. Oh, shit. Hello, employee. Supervisor Carol here. We've received complaints that some of the answers that you have been providing have been inaccurate. I urge you to think more carefully on the answers you provide before we are forced to terminate. You've been warned. Oh, fuck. All right, Carol. Sorry. <laughs> Damn, so we've got a couple of them wrong here. Yikes. Started going missing Please at night. Hold. Oh, I know what that is. Missing clothes at night, and I keep hearing this strange whoopee cushion type sound. Uh, most commonly inhabiting other households. Warlock remnants reports objects. So there's no noise here. It was. Hold on. Gnome. Fuck, man. Clothes have gone missing. No, because this is not a woman. During the winter, they will deflate their bodies in order to fit inside homes and steal warm materials such as blankets and articles of clothing. Homeowners infested with troll will frequently report missing clothes. Trolls. Fucking trolls. That's weird. Deflate their bodies? Like, how do the people like that make these games come up with all these sorts of different anomalies and shit like that? Uh, different creatures. I don't know. That's why I'm not a game developer. So, I don't know. Hello, I saw your commercial and I thought I would call just in case you might know what's going on. I was recently putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon Earl Grey when I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. 
I looked around inside, but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. I'm quite concerned about the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm, I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. My hearing isn't what it used to be, after all. I looked around inside, but I couldn't find anything but a few tea leaves. Please hold. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Look. Tea leaves, I'm going with tea sprite. That's what the sprites are. That's why they do. They mimic and then I'm going with the sprite. T, same name. Obviously, unfortunately, there's no information due to the network outage. But I'm going with T sprite. If I had to bet on one of them, it's that one. It's the audio play. Hi, we need some medical help. I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already, but he said to call here, so we've been um, having some trouble sleeping. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling shortness of breath around the same time. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma and some particularly severe allergies. We tried washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? Okay, hold on. Please hold. Bed. Where is it? Not bed bugs. I, I don't, I don't remember. Uh, come on. I mean, it, it, Dreamweaver? Bad hag. I mean, gonna be for all the other we should be done right i mean we've done what like five six and i'm not getting paid enough for this bullshit carla so uh i've been hearing this weird sound coming from the walls not exactly sure what it is but i've been having a hard time sleeping at night because of this sound can you hear that it's been non-stop lately I replaced all of my smoke detector batteries and everything, but I cannot figure out where the sound is coming from. Please oh, hold. What was it? Um, that gnome. Whistling, whistling. Drywall. Grow through drywall gaps. Whistling. Oh my god. Again, the proof is in the pudding. Pretty confident in that one. Whistling fungi, singing in harmony, evacuate the home immediately. Whistling fungi, rare and dangerous to humans. You imagine if all this shit was actually real? That'd be kind of crazy. Let's flip her again. Uh, okay. Sixty nine percent. I failed today. Well, that sucked. Really? Fuck. I'm exhausted. I've been working all week here. What do you want me to say? Entry, bro. Hold on. We got an email. 
Congratulations. We are happy to report that we are more, uh, most phased with your labors and are currently making all the necessary preparations for your impending dissension. Assuming you pass the trial, the soil is fertile. Keep up the great work and thanks for working through the weekend. What the fuck is that even supposed to mean? Home safety hotline. Uh... Is there any new ones here, maybe, that we didn't see? Uh, okay. Sunday. That's right, we did have to come in on Sunday. Right? Yeah, that's right. All right, this should be the final day. My God. I'm so tired. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I What? The trial hath begun. Thy trial hath begun. Queen, what are we? What are we? Bees. Queen. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Okay. Shut up. The hell is this, bro? I'm not living yet. I clatter and I'm small. I'm weak. I suffer pressures and I. Bro, the fact this doesn't even tell you anything is crazy. Or animation. I am not living, yet I clatter. I am small animation. Small animation. I'm, I'm gonna go with animation. It's not telling me if I got it right or not. Forge ahead. Okay. I am the beggar. I am the encroacher of the dry. I am friend to the water. The okay, hold. that's easy. Where is it? Rain. Okay, I don't know why I keep selecting them there and then. Oh God. Press on, employee. Okay. Please hold. I am the harbinger of death. I am the bringer of. Harbinger of death. Fuck. 
flies. When you die, a dead corpse rots and then you have flies. But housefly? I mean, it's the same shit, right? Okay, rejoice. Hello, any callers? who have too much please i'm hold. sorry i don't i don't fucking know uh, i'm sorry i don't that one doesn't even have too much gonna put anything warlock i don't fucking know <laughs> i don't know i don't know that's probably wrong Ex expand your mind and some water oh my god mm -mm -mm -mm. Gardens. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. Seedling, 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 seedling. Yes, seedling. Let go thy stilted soul. You know what that? What? I don't know. Cool. I actually like this kind of, hold on. I like that backdrop over there. I am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. Careless lights. Please Down. hold. I am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. Um, 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 um dream fires house fire oil and light careless fire that's fire but I mean I think I hate that it doesn't tell you if you're doing good or bad like tells you when you're when you're done <laughs> all right come on Seeker, I am the one who delivers. What am I? Please hold. Uh, good. Fuck, man. The seeker, the one who delivers. I don't know, dude. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm gonna. Warlock? Uh. I don't know. The seeker. Hold on. Seeker. Troll's not a seeker. Neighbors don't know. Lamp spray laundry. I'm going to break my head over this. 
I'm gonna go with Warlock, which is probably wrong anyway, but... <laughs> Warlock Remnants. Descend. Uh. Hello? Anybody there? It's fucking Sunday. I'm still working. I want to go home. I don't get paid enough for this bullshit. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you closely. For all this time, you have been providing excellent and accurate answers to our callers. These acts will not go unrewarded. And I'm pleased to report that you have qualified for a promotion. Please stand by while I prepare thy promotion. Why does she look like that? What is the promotion promo in progress? Please stand by. What's going on, Carol? Damn. What a weird fucking. Oh, it's Carol. <laughs> Close. She's got a crown with like a bunch of seeds growing. Carol. What is this? Are we like the pest control master now? say I know I didn't get all of them right we, we we saw some that were 80 70 and then 69 and then 200s or 300s what the fuck did I just play but that was pretty cool wow so just so you know oh God. I've, I've been recording for about four hours and so we're finally done with home safety hotline. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know this is very, very different, but if you'd like to see more just different games like this and others here on the channel, drop it a like, let me know in the comments. Um, I just want to play games, hang out, have a good time. And that's about it. Thank you all so much for hanging out. And yeah, what you guys think? 